Get down! Hey! Greetings, traveler. May the forgotten gods look kindly on your path. You there! On what business do you invade our land? You speak with a sound mind. This is good news. The Taken Ones have run over our lands and hold us hostage here. They come day and night by the hundreds, destroying everything they once loved. They take our healthy warriors and turn them to their evil. Silverman, of New California sent you? We wondered when he would get our message. Come, this path will take you to the Chieftain.
Welcome to Ziabula, city of the forgotten gods. Home of the free California tribe. Come sit. It is the mind virus, an infection that robs the living of their soul and replaces it with that of a demon. The Demon King sends it to fester in our young. He seeks to destroy our kind so that he may reign free over the lands he wishes to possess. Yes, the evil one, trapped in the prison of ten thousand horrors, to the east in the shadow of the Bear Mountain. He has ravaged these lands for many years, stealing our children, mothers, brothers. He leaves only pain in his wake, a fate worse than death. Our tribe now suffers here on the edge of the Great Divide. The end of our time between the old world and the new. But the Demon King... His reign cannot last in the face of defined life. He must scorch the earth, leaving only barren wastes. Emptiness is his empire. We hold our lines at the canyon. We send hunters to kill the lost ones before they return to do us harm. We are searching for a champion, a hero of our own kin to rise, to slay the Demon King and his army of horrors. But we fear they may not come. We have turned off the water from our tribe's fountain in hopes that the virus will not spread, and to get the attention of the Silver Man. As you wish. You may state your business here in Ziabula. This is possible, you see. But the magic is not of our tribe. The water's ghost has died and must be awakened. He no longer hears our cries at his altar, and the waters no longer flow. Those that drink are infected by the mind virus. We have water here that can be spared and carried on foot to your silver man. Or, if you have the thunder in your hands, restore the ghost of the waters. Mm, yes, it is possible, though not likely. You would have to be some kind of a superman. <laughs> Or maybe you would have better luck pushing it back to your Silver Man city on a cart. But alas, none are here, so your strong back it must be. Recruit some friends to assist you. It cannot be so hard for you to make friends, no? Hmm, very well. You will find them around the camp. I wish you luck, and strong legs. Okay. Take anything I have.
traveler. I wish I could offer you more. Ever since the raiders took the highway, we've barely been scraping by. Farewell.
Looks like everything's in order. I was half expecting you to be at this for weeks, if not wind up dead. Glad I was wrong. With water and power sorted out, even temporarily, we can focus on bigger concerns. That stated, there's another mission underway. Captain Jameson is leading a squad of troopers to secure Fort Dagger Point. If you're interested, it's a high-risk mission and they need another set of hands. Payout is 500 bucks on completion. How's it sound? <laughs> Catch is that it's high risk. The survivalists are likely already on their way and have raiders stationed in the ruins. Old Fort Dagger Point looks like a hell of a hard place to fight. The terrain calls for a person of your finesse. Outside the box combat, so to speak. Well, we don't know much about it, honestly. It's a blind spot in the NCR intelligence. We know that it used to be a military compound. That's about it. We've combed over our pre-war military records and all documents related to Fort Dagger Point are shipping manifests. One way in, those gates. It's all marked classified. But we do know it has a vast store of old weapons technologies. If we can break Fort Dagger Point open, we can win this thing with the Raiders. All we have to do is hold on to it. Right through the front door. We recently acquired an ancient pass key that unlocks the great gates. Talk to Senator Duville in his office. He has the key safely tucked away here in town. We have plans for that eventuality. You'll be going in first, taking out any and all Raider resistance as you go. After you're at the main gate, we're calling in an NCR Vertibird squad to park in the main area. It's old Enclave gear from the war, but it'll do. The Vertibird's support and additional troop numbers will bolster your spearhead and take the fort. Raiders may counterattack, but we'll be ready. Shopping spree! We're sending a herd of Brahmin along so you can go down the shelves with two arms and gather all the gear you can fit on a cow. Reinforce our position here at Union City with the acquired loot and we'll be the first threat to the Raiders. That'll tip the balance. When NCR forces arrive later this week, we'll be able to launch a full-scale operation to prospect Dagger Point. Till then, this is our big hit. Good to hear. Talk to Senator DeVille, then meet Captain Jameson in the main square. He's leading the caravan across the waste. Oh, right. By the way, this is the money that we owe you for this mission. Up front. We don't know what you're up against, so stock up. Good luck. 